introduce our lesson in contemporary arts by discussing the elements and principles of art. Let's start. The elements and principles of art is introduced to describe the various contemporary art forms from the region of the Philippines, generally from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. The elements of art are space, line, shape and form, color, value, and texture. Meanwhile, the principles of art are proportion, harmony, variety, movement, rhythm, balance, and emphasis. Now, let's discuss these elements and principles of art further. The first topic that we will discuss is the elements of art. First is lines, an element of art that is used to define shape, contours, and outlines, also to suggest mass and volume. It may be a continuous mark made on a surface with a pointed tool or implied by the edges of the shape and forms. Line has two characteristics. First is form. It can be curved, dotted, or broken lines. Second is direction. It can be vertical, horizontal, and diagonal. These different characteristics of line convey different meanings. Horizontal line. Line applied horizontally often evoke feelings of stability, grounding, emphasis, and direction. So, although horizontal lines tend to create net and lower the ceiling of a space, they can also be applied to direct the viewer to a particular focal point. Vertical lines are often associated with strength, stability, balance, and elevation. It has been hypothesized that viewing vertical lines is unnatural compared to viewing horizontal lines. Additionally, Vertical lines extend away from our visual plane. Diagonal lines typically promote a sense of dynamic movement, transformation, and freedom. Diagonal lines can really bring life to a space, direct the eye upwards or downwards, and add volume to a space, making it feel larger than this. Curved line. Curving lines, whether freeform, arching, circular, or elliptical, often feel natural, organic, playful, and soothing. If you are looking to make a space, flow curving lines are a great way to do it. They are also very voluminous, taking up space with an interior. Circular line creates an impression of abrupt change of direction. Moreover, lines can be classified into different types. Outlines are made by the edge of an object or its silhouette. The line by which a figure or object is defined or bounded contour. A drawing or sketch is treated to line without shading or modeling of form. Contour lines describe the shape of an object and the interior detail. Contour lines define the edges of an object. They tend to show only the edges of a shape and the important lines within the inside of the shape. Expressive lines catch the movement and gesture of an active figure a kind of line that seems to spring direct from the artist's emotion or feelings. Loose, gestural, and energetic. Epotomized by curvy line forms as opposed to analytic or classical line. Sketch lines capture the appearance of an object or impression of a place. Calligraphic lines are the elegant handwriting or lettering done by hand. 
with live lines. Our lines here are not actually drawn but created by a group of objects seen from a distance. Also, artwork that has flowing lines like an elegant handwriting. Second one is shape. Shape is an area that is enclosed by a line or lines. Shape are two-dimensional figures with height and width. There are different kinds of shape and these are Geometric shapes are circles, squares, rectangles, triangles, and other geometric shapes. They are often found in human-made things, like buildings and machines, while biomorphic shapes are found in nature. These shapes may look like leaves, flowers, clouds, things that grow, flow, and move. Third one is color. Color are the way we see light reflected from a surface or refracted through a prism. We can classify color into primary colors, secondary colors, tertiary colors, analog colors, complementary colors, monochromatic colors, warm colors, and full colors. Primary color are red, blue, and yellow. Primary color or primary colors consist of colorants or colored lights that can be mixed in varying amounts to produce a gamut colors. This is the essential method used to create the perception of a broad range of colors in example, electronic display, color printing, and painting. Secondary colors. These are color combinations created by an equal mixture of a two primary colors on the color wheel. Secondary colors are located between primary colors. According to the traditional color wheel, red and yellow makes orange, red and blue makes purple, and blue and yellow makes green. Tertiary color. The tertiary color or intermediate color is a color made by mixing full saturation of one primary color with half saturation of another primary color and none of a third primary color. In a given color space such as RGB, CMYK, or RYB. Analog colors are colors that lie next to each other based on the color wheel. Analog colors means the color grouping has similarities. These color scheme types have close relation to one another. Here are a few examples of analog color schemes. Yellow, yellow-green, green, violet, red-violet, and red. Complementary colors are colors that are opposite to each other based on the color view. Complementary colors are defined as colors that have maximum contrast for each other. The fundamentals complementary pairs for painters are red-green, yellow-violet, and blue-orange. But each intermediate color also has its unique complementary. Monochromatic colors are several values of one color. Monochrome colors are all the varieties of a single hue that takes shades and tones. A monochromatic color scheme will range between lighter and darker version of the base color underneath. Warm colors are colors that give the feeling of warmth, such as red, orange, and yellow. These colors are often associated with fire, the sun, and heat. They can make an area feel closer and more intimate and create a sense of energy or excitement. Cool colors are colors that gives the feeling of coolness, such as blue, green, and purple. Have the opposite effect, creating a calming atmosphere that counteracts feelings of anxiety. While cool tones can calm and soothe an uneasy disposition, they can also trigger feelings of sadness and indifference. Fourth one is space. Space refers to distance or areas around between or within components of a piece and refers to the arrangement of objects. In visual arts, space may either be positive space or negative space. Positive space refers to a part which is enclosed in a shape. Negative space refers to the opposite part which the shape is enclosing. The fifth one is texture. Texture is the element that appeals to our sense of feel of the things, rough or smooth, bumpy or slippery. It is the character of the surface of an artwork. Real texture is the actual texture of an object. Artists may create real texture in art to give it visual interest or evoke a feeling. Implied texture made a piece of art to look like a certain texture, like a drawing of a tree trunk, 
may look rough, but in fact, it is just a smooth piece of paper. The sixth one is value. The value pertains to the lightness or darkness of a color in a given artwork. Value can be changed by adding white or black to a color and is described as tint and shade. Tint pertains to the lightness of a color, shade pertains to the darkness of the color. Seventh one is form. Form is the three-dimensionality of an object. It has three dimensions of height, width, and length. According to Modern 2019, the elements of art are the visual tools that the artist uses to create a composition. Consequently, principles of art represent how the artist uses elements of art to create an effective and convey the artist's intent. The second topic are about principles of art. Number one is rhythm. This refers to repetition of certain elements to produce a pattern. Rhythm is a principle of design that suggests movement or action. Rhythm is usually achieved through repetition of line, shape, colors, and more. It creates a visual tempo in artworks and provides a path for the viewer's eye to follow. Number two is movement. Movement is the illusion of motion in painting, sculpture, or design. Movement is the path that the viewer's eye takes through the work of art often to focal areas. Such movement can be directed along lines, edges, shape, and colors within the work of art. Thirdly, balance. Balance refers to the visual weight in a picture. It refers to the even distribution of position of elements in an artwork. The principle of balance can be symmetrical or asymmetrical. Symmetrical. Symmetrical balance refers to an artwork wherein its both sides has the same elements in the same position. Asymmetrical. Asymmetrical balance refers to an artwork wherein it is balanced through the contrast or difference of any of the elements of art. Symmetrical. Symmetrical balance refers to an artwork wherein its both sides has the same elements in the same position. Asymmetrical. Asymmetrical balance refers to an artwork wherein it is balanced through the contrast or difference of any of the elements of art. The fourth one, proportion. Proportion refers to the relationship of size of object in the body of work. Proportion is one of the principles of art and design that organize and arrange their structural elements. Together with the balance, unity, rhythm, and emphasis, the relation between parts is the main issue in the proportion which is often discussed in the terms of context and view standards. Fifth one is contrast. As a principles of art, contrast refers to the arrangement of opposite elements and effects. For example, light and dark colors, smooth and rough texture, large and small shapes. Contrast can be used to create variety, visual interest, and drama in an artwork. Sixth one, variety. These principles of art refers to diversity or the different elements used in an artwork to make it more interesting. 7. Emphasis Emphasis refers to greater impact or highlight given to a certain element in an artwork. Emphasis is the part of the design that catches the viewer's attention. Usually, the artist will make one area stand out by contrasting it with other areas. Lastly, Harmony These principles of art refers to the unity of an artwork. It is about the arrangement of the related elements that makes an artwork to be viewed as a whole. Harmony is the principles of art that creates cohesiveness by stressing the similarities of separate but related parts. One should note that harmony is not the same as unity. Harmony does, however, enhance unity in an artwork of art. These elements and principles of art are a very important aspect in understanding and appreciating art. It helps an artist to make an artistic artwork which conveys the essential ideas or their intent. However, it does not just serve as a help to artists, but also to the viewers. To the elements and principles of art present in an artwork, viewers will be able to understand, appreciate, and evaluate an artwork. And will apply elements and principles of art in evaluating artworks. Before we display the artwork genesis, let us know first about Fernando Campo, the artist of this artwork. Filipino artist Fernando Ruiz Ocampo is best known for his abstract works. Born in Manila, Philippines 
on April 28, 1911. His parents were Emilio Ocampo E. Santiago and Delfina Ruiz E. Santo. Did you know that Fernando Ocampo was a self-taught artist? Yes, he taught himself how to paint in the visual arts. Ocampo employed vivid color schemes and by morphic design in the modernist style. Drawing inspiration from both his country's scenery and science theory and science fiction literature. Prior to teaching himself art, he had a foundation in writing and had at first studied law and creative writing. He worked as a writer and during his career, he was one of the organizers of Veronicans, a young group of progressive and prolific writers. Working in various periodicals such as Taliban newspaper and Manila Sunday Chronicle magazine. He also worked as a scriptwriter and director for television and produced and directed for the Filipino Players Guild. Hernando Ruiz of Campo was a leading radical modernist artist in the Philippines. He was a member of a Saturday group also known as the Taga de Oro Group and was one of the pre-war 13 models, a group of modernist artists founded by Victoria C. Dades in 1938, famous be known for his triumvirate with neo-realists Vicente S. Manansala and the Cesar de Gaspi. His work reflected harsh realities of his country after the Second World War. However, many of his work depicted lush scenery and the beautiful Philippine landscape through his skillful use of fierce and blood colors. Hernando Ruiz of Campo was created for inventing a new mode of abstraction that exemplifies Philippine flora and fauna and portrays sunshine, stars, and rain. Using movement and bold colors, Ocampo utilized fantasy and science fiction as the basis for his works. His art is described to be abstract composition of biological forms that seem to be oscillate quiver and claim and multiply like mutation. His interests change over the course of his career, moving from image of laborers to abstract forms. He was 67 years old when he passed away on December 28, 1978 in Caloocan, Philippines. He was given the honor of being named in the National Artist posthumously.